Y'all yeah, wanna see how I got this little ugly wig to look like this? Then just stay tuned. So here's the wig I made. If you wanna watch how I colored and cut it, go and check that video out. I will link it above and below. And this is the long queen hair um, from AliExpress. I will also link all their information below, so go and check them out. <laughs> I totally forgot to mention that long queen hair is having a giveaway. So make sure you go ahead and enter that if you wanna to try to win you some free hair. So you wanna make sure you're subscribed and then subscribe to long queen hair on YouTube. Follow them on Instagram and then to enter, just comment below, including your Instagram and email address, saying which hair you like. And all the options for the hair will be linked below. So click on the link and see what kind of hair you would like and try to win you some free bundles. Okay, let's get back to the video. Hey, what's up, y'all? So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this on, show y'all how to make it real cute because right now, y'all will see. So, um, first, I'm going to start with this nude cap. I think it's a little bit too light for me, but... They was all out like, oh my god, the hair store I went to didn't have nothing. And then I went to Sally's and this was the only other color they had. You want to get a cap that's close to your scalp color. So that the, when the lace sees through, it can you know, look like your scalp, obviously. <laughs> mm -mm. But yeah, we got to fix this thing because this ain't cute. I'm about to show y'all how to make it cute, how to turn a wig out, how to trick it out real, real fast. So yeah, first things first, girl, this part, we need to get this part all the way together. So um, what I'm going to do is put some mousse on it. You could wet it down, but this is just easier because mousse dries up quicker. So I'm just going to do mousse. This also helped to lay it down a little bit more. If y'all been watching my videos, y'all know I like to part up. Uh, y'all know I like to plug my part using this little little metal comb, and I pull the hairs out like strand by strand. Okay, the part is looking a lot better as you can see, but my cap is too light, so I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I'm using the Morph. I done had this like for so long. So what I'm gonna do is pick some concealer, paint that on them. So now for a quick fix on this color because I just, mm -mm. I'm not really feeling the color too much. I actually should have left my roots dark. I don't know why I didn't, but I'm going to go ahead and go in with an eyeshadow, black eyeshadow. It's like a quick little fix to color correction. So I go in with my Got To Be Glue Free Spray and I spray that on there to lock in that eyeshadow. And then what I do is I'll put another layer of eyeshadow on top of the free spray so it can like melt the eyeshadow in some more. And then I do another layer of the free spray. Basically I'm ending the whole process with the free spray to lock everything into place. And you can put as many layers on as you need to until you see that color that you're looking for. Now it is eyeshadow. You can't expect it to be like boom boom bam like a total drastic color transformation. But it did help to calm the color down. It did help to tone it down a little bit. Okay, y'all, I still was not feeling this wig, so I decided to take it up a notch and take it a little bit shorter.
So then I went with my flat iron and just gave it like a slight little bump to frame my face a little better. So a hairstyle like this just needed some makeup. So I'm gonna just be showing y'all my quick little natural face. I haven't done my makeup in like a really long time. So y'all don't judge me, it was real rusty. So this is when I realized my foundation was too light, so yeah. So I was just over this whole makeup look and I skipped the whole contouring and all that and just did blush and I'm doing Fixed On Drama by MAC for my lips. 